year of polar prediction is a wonderful international initiative involving many people from uh, many countries and uh, specialists in different areas. And it's an exciting project where we're bringing together observers, and satellite data, in situ measurements in the field and models to improve our ability to understand the ongoing changes and predict what the future changes to the polar environment will be. And it's important to all of us. The Year of Polar Prediction is an exciting research initiative which, just like the 2007-2008 International Polar Year, allows researchers from different disciplines to come together and work towards a common goal of increasing societal value from weather, water and ice prediction for the polar regions. So the polar regions are changing very rapidly, more rapidly than other parts of the globe. And as a result of this, there's been an increase in human activity, particularly in the Arctic, with the potential to shorten shipping routes and other things. Currently, our ability to do weather forecasting there is much worse than in other parts of the globe. The poles have been, I would say, neglected by the NWP, the Numerical Weather Prediction Community. And YOP is essentially an activity designed to improve this situation which is important both in terms of forecasting for the present and uh, but not least for the future uh, forecasting capabilities in a changing climate. A special thing about YOP is that it brings together many different communities from the academic research landscape but also the operational centers and they work closely together towards one well-defined goal which is better polar environmental predictions. YOP will help Met Norway and Norway to increase our forecasting capabilities in the Arctic. It will also strengthen our collaboration with other countries having interest in the Arctic. ESMWF has just published uh, its 10-year strategy and we emphasize in it uh, the need for representing coupled processes in, in atmosphere, ocean and sea ice for advancing uh, predictive skill to monthly range. This is especially important for Russia as a significant part of its territory is located in these areas and so people living there uh, feel uh, polar weather in their everyday life. I have worked on the polar prediction for 13 years, so YOP means a lot to me. With YOP, China can work together with the international community. As a social scientist, for me it's really exciting to be working with and alongside natural scientists. The polar region is one of the very important parts of our Earth system which has coupled atmosphere, ocean, sea ice, aerosols, high latitude hydrology and land processes are also very important. Important to the rest of the world, also particularly in the north. To me, uh, YAP is not only about getting more observations in the polar regions, it's about uh, getting the right observations. And I view YAP as a great opportunity to take a lot of the observations that we make in the Arctic uh, and confront those with models and understand how those observations fit into the bigger picture. We will get a chance to get more observations so we can improve some of the process descriptions in, in models that we are using for weather forecast and climate predictions. Increase the benefit users of environmental forecasts may receive from this great research initiative. The polar regions are warming and the ice is melting. So what happens in the poles doesn't stay in the poles. 